welcome to creating a folder in Windows 10. So in today's lesson, very quick, quickly, I'm going to show you how to create a folder and how to zip a folder in Windows 10. As you can see right here, I'm using Windows 10 Enterprise and I am on my desktop. So in order to create a folder, all you have to do is right click on your mouse, go to new, click on folder. Once you right click on the mouse, go to new, um, create the folder, you will be allowed to name that folder. So let me do it one more time just so you guys could see what I just did. I right click on my mouse, I went to new and I selected folder. From there, I can name the folder whatever I want. So I'm gonna call this sample folder creation. I now have what's known as a folder that sits on my desktop. If I click inside the folder, you will notice that this folder is empty. What that means is that there is currently nothing inside of the folder. In order to zip the folder, all I have to do is right click, go to send to and select compress zip. However, you notice that I am unable to zip the folder because there is nothing in it. In order to zip a folder, something has to exist or be inside of that folder. So I'm gonna click on start and I am going to just open up a text document, notepad document, and I'm going to just create hello world. I'm just gonna create a simple text document and I'm gonna save this on my desktop. I'm gonna call it sample. I am now going to save it to my desktop and you'll notice since I saved it on my desktop, it appears right here on my desktop. I can now drag this document and bring it into my folder, right click, go to send to and select compress zip. I have now created what is known as a compressed folder. So why is it so important to know how to create a compressed folder? Well, it's uh, two folds really. First and foremost, the folder that I have here, if I was to email it, it would go through given that there's not that many uh, much uh, bytes being utilized inside of that folder, right? However, if the folder gets big, I have a lot of images, a lot of videos, the email will not allow it to go through, right? If I right click on the same compressed zip folder, you will notice that it is 175 bytes, right? A huge difference from before where it was 11 bytes, okay? So what the compressed folder essentially allows you to do is it actually allows you to compress whatever items is inside the folder, making it smaller. In this instance, the generic folder is a whole lot smaller because there's not that much in it because the compression takes up space as well. You'll notice that this folder is reading a whole lot bigger. That's because the space that is utilized to compress the file takes up a lot. But if I have a lot of files and folders and videos in here, you will notice that it compresses the size and allow me to upload uh, the video in uh, YouTube, or I can email it to myself, or I can put it on a Google Drive without any issues. So that is how you create a folder in Windows 10, in addition to zipping the folder. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.